a stegosaurus coming through. Learn about this large dinosaur with me today. Stegosaurus is the largest and best known of the stegosaur family of dinosaurs. The first complete stegosaurus skeleton was found in Wyoming in 1877 by Samuel Wendell Williston. Following this discovery, a number of other stegosaurus fossils have been found. Stegosaurus was up to 9 meters long, stood 5 meters tall and probably weighed around 2 tons. How did Stegosaurus defend itself? Stegosaurus was a large, heavy dinosaur. Its legs were solid and powerful and were built for strength, not for speed. Scientists think that Stegosaurus could not run at all. Instead, it probably walked at around 8 km per hour. However, it had long, sharp bone spikes on the end of its tail. The spikes were about 60 cm long and were probably a defense against attack. The number of spikes varied between species. Some had two pairs, while others had four pairs. If a hunter tried to attack, Stegosaurus would have lashed its tail from side to side in order to hit the hunter with its fearsome spikes. What were its bone plates used for? The large plates of bone that stood up from the back of Stegosaurus were covered by skin, under which ran hundreds of veins carrying blood. It is thought that it could change its temperature by facing these plates towards the sun, so that the blood would absorb heat and therefore warm the animal. Some scientists think that Stegosaurus could alter the skin color of the plates to frighten rivals or to warn off danger. Most scientists believe that the plate stood vertically. But none have actually been found attached to a skeleton, so they may have been flat on the skin. When and where did Stegosaurus existed? Stegosaurus lived about 155 million years ago, towards the end of the Jurassic period, in western parts of North America. Fossils have been found on a number of sites. So these dinosaurs probably ranged across a wide area. Animals similar to Stegosaurus lived in Africa, Europe and Asia. What was special about the brain of a Stegosaurus? The skull of Stegosaurus was small and contained a tiny brain. Which is often described as being the size of a walnut. Positioned in the backbone, close to the hips was a second mass of nerve cells, which weighed about 1 kg. Some people think this was a second brain. But it was probably just a nerve center to work the legs and tail. It has often been described as working like a relay junction box. Fact File The back legs of a Stegosaurus were twice as long as its front legs. This means that its body slipped downwards from its hips. Paleontologists think that the Stegosaurus walked on all four legs, but that it may have reared up to get to the hard to reach leaves. <laughs>